most of the Russia is Siberia. Siberia accounts for 77% of Russia's land mass and 10% of Earth's total land surface. Its area is more than 50 times that of the United Kingdom. If Siberia were independent, it would be the largest country in the world. However, it has population density of less than 8 people per square mile. This is because Siberia is extremely cold. During winter, the temperature air can reach as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius or minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. New research suggests that Siberia could become habitable in the end of this century due to climate change. The research was conducted by Krasnoyark Federal Research Center, Russia and the National Institute of Aerospace, USA. They published their result in June 6, 2019 in the Environmental Research Letters. The team used many environmental models and simulations to come up with this conclusion. A unique environment which is found in very cold regions such as Siberia is called permafrost. In permafrost, the ground below 15 cm or 5 m is permanently frozen. Or any ground that is frozen more than two consecutive years is called permafrost. The recent study suggests that the permafrost coverage in Siberia will reduce from 65% to 40% by 2080. Due to increase in temperature, this region of the world will become more favorable for living and will attract millions of people for settlement. Research suggests that the settlement would also depend on infrastructure, social, political, and economic policies of the country, as already this part of Russia does not have great infrastructure, which produces more than 70% of Russia's oil and gas. Besides this research, some previous research suggests that methane bomb exists in the permafrost of Siberia. What does it mean in simple words is that the losing of permafrost in Siberia would raise the global temperature to an extreme level. This is because locked in the permafrost is an estimate 1.7 trillion tons of carbon mainly in the form of carbon dioxide and methane. In other words, the permafrost soil around the world contains roughly twice as much carbon as Earth's atmosphere. The carbon is frozen in the form of organic matter, the remains of rooted plants and long dead animals which are trapped in sediment and later covered by ice sheets. When permafrost thaws or unfreeze, this matter warms up and decomposes, eventually releasing carbon dioxide and methane gas which have greenhouse warming effect on the earth. Release of these gases in the atmosphere will result in more global warming and ice melt, which in turn cause more thawing of permafrost and freeing up of more locked up carbon. Climate change may cause Siberia suitable for living, 
but the global warming will turn the rest of the world into a hell. Thank you for watching and subscribe.